This is Crick Buzz Unplugged with Adam Collins. I'm thrilled to have South African all-rounder Marizan Cat with me for a couple of minutes, sitting down here in their hotel in St. Lucia. But the good news for you guys is you got on last night, got a chance to play and got a chance to win, and you were integral in that victory. Yes, definitely. I think we were a bit nervous with the weather around. Um, we were a bit scared that we weren't going to play, um, but the weather held up and, and luckily we got the points in the bag. I described you as an all-rounder in the intro. That's because you are now. You elevated yourself to number three. That wasn't always the case. You're taking that responsibility at number three. It's a really big deal, isn't it? Uh, yes, look, I started off as a, as a bit of a batter, first change bowler, and then the bowling took over. But I've always seen myself as a batter. I've never stopped working on the batting. And, and hopefully now, this, at this stage of my career, I can contribute more with the bat. You put on a crucial partnership last night with Danae Van Niekirk. How important is it the bond you two have got when you're batting together to be able to put on a partnership like that and maintain your composure when things weren't going so well at the start? Um, we were a bit nervous with the first two wickets falling quite quickly. The Sri Lankans is a team that you, you don't want to give them the opportunity to get into the game and I think we did that a bit with the two early wickets. Um, but luckily we, we didn't have um, our high score to chase so we could take our time and just ensure that we got the job done. And is there a great understanding with you two out in the middle that you kind of know what the other one's thinking? You've got a, a great understanding of what the other one's going to do when you're batting together? Not really, to be honest. <laughs> we had one um, run there where I thought it was two and then I said, no, it's only one. So a lot of times we get stuck a bit there because she's more of a, a boundary eater and I'm more of a runner. So there's always a bit of miscommunication, but um, luckily it worked for us. Has it caused any mix-ups in the middle? Have you run her out or she ran you out before? In the past, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously your main uh, asset to the side traditionally has been your bowling. You're the, mo the most accomplished seam bowler in the world in terms of the rankings at the moment. Um, do you feel as though South Africa has the best pace line up in the world at the moment in women's cricket? I think so. I think um, in the past, like the series we had in England, doesn't show our true potential, especially on, on the batting wickets we got given there. Um, but I think this wicket suits our bowling a bit more and, and it should help us in this T20 World Cup. How frustrating was it in England after winning that first one day international, not winning another game in the duration of the tour against England? It must have just broke your heart starting so well and falling away. It was a bit disappointing to be honest. Um, I think we always start on high and then somewhere it's almost like we get bored or something because it happened against the West Indies as well. Um, but it's important for us as T22 to start off well and, and keep the momentum going. Do you feel as though having played in this side for a really long time now, this is the best opportunity South Africa has really ever had to make a major tournament final? Yes, definitely. I think the warm-up games didn't go our way. The, the series against West Indies, we didn't play our best cricket and we still ended up drawing the series. So now if, if all of our batters can just fire, I believe we can make it till the end this time. And how much do you credit the, the Women's Big Bash League and the Kia Super League with so many South Africans playing across those two competitions, elevating the standards to help you compete at this top level? I think it's definitely up. Even if I have to look at my own game, I think um, T20 cricket is not something you grew up with playing. Um, it just ensures you to play as much T20 cricket as you possibly can. And then playing with other internationals, you see how they go about their, their business. So you learn a lot and, and it's definitely helped us. And do you feel as though it's been inconsistency for a long time with Africans, women, but you also feel as though it means that you can go out and beat anyone on any day? That's the thing, we're just a bit inconsistent, but I mean, it depends on which South African team rocks up on mm. the day. And and if we get us on the wrong side, it, it, we could be really dangerous. Let's hope so. Thanks, Marizan Cat, for joining Crick Buzz Unplugged. Thank you so much.